In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Hunix within VirtualBox on a Windows computer. Now, before I continue giving you more information about why you want to use Hunix, jump to this timestamp if you're only interested in the installation portion. You already want to use Hunix, you're already being convinced as an example, and you just want to know how to install it, then jump again to this timestamp. Otherwise, continue watching and I'll give you some good reasons to use Hunix and how it compares to other options out there. Big question is, why would you want to use Hunix? And there are multiple reasons for doing this, but let me show you an example right away. I've got Hunix running here. It actually consists of two virtual machines. You have a gateway virtual machine and a workstation virtual machine. All traffic from the workstation is routed through the gateway across the Tor network. On their website, they say you get superior internet privacy with Hunix, gives you both security and allows you to be anonymous but you may not want to take their word for it, but have a look at these recommendations on their website from Edward Snowden, who says he uses Cubes and Hunix Gateway literally every day. Wired also talks about this. For the even more paranoid, there's a lesser known Tor enabled OS called Hunix. And I really like what the Guardian says here. Hunix is about as anonymous as an OS can get before it all becomes too inconvenient for normal use. And I think that's a massive advantage of Hunix. I have in previous videos, which I've linked below, showed you how to install Tails and use that. Tails allows you to boot off a USB flash drive. That's great and gives you more security in that if your operating system gets compromised, you simply reboot and you're back to where you started. In Hunix, we're using virtual machines and it's possible in some cases, that software could perhaps get out of the virtual machine and attack your host operating system, in this case, Windows. But this gives you much better privacy and much better security than, for instance, trying to access the internet directly. So just using a standard browser like Chrome or using Tor directly on your computer. Now, before we go any further, do you want to see my IP address? This is the Hunix virtual machine. When I click here and go to web browser, you can see that the Tor browser is installing updates. Opening up the browser again, notice I have a new IP address. So all my traffic is being routed through the Tor network via this gateway. I've kind of mentioned Tails versus Hunix already, but notice they do have a comparison on their website, which I'll link below, showing you Hunix versus Tails versus the Tor browser, Cubes OS, Tor VM, and Corridor as an example. So they talk about, does it focus on being anonymous, having privacy, and security and the answer is yes to all of these. And then he explains the differences between them. The biggest difference here is that with Hunix, you have virtual machines running on your Windows operating system as an example, whereas with Tails, you have a live DVD or live USB that you boot off. Tor just gives you a portable browser as an example. But I won't bore you going through this, whole bunch of information available on this comparison chart. My team and I have also created a PDF that gives you more information. So like what are the Hunix requirements? You need a Windows computer as an example, or Apple Mac, you need to have VirtualBox installed. But notice on the Hunix website, they give you options for Windows, Linux, Mac, VirtualBox, KVM, Cubes, USB, ISO supposedly coming soon, and more options. The one that we're gonna look at is Windows in this example, and they make this installation very, very easy. So you can simply follow their steps, or you can have a look at the PDF, which I've linked below, that we've created, that shows you quickly reasons to use Hunix. Big reasons are that all your internet traffic from your VM is routed through the Tor network, giving you the best possible protection for your IP address. You can be identified by your IP address. Hiding it can be challenging. Hunix forces all connections through Tor once again and through their gateway. You can also be identified by your browser. So Hunix lowers the amount of information that can be used to identify you or fingerprint your browser. It also uses a hardened operating system and it also has a built-in key anonymizer called Cloak that helps stop you being identified by your keystrokes. Now to download Hunix, go to download, select the operating system that you wanna download it for. In my example, it's gonna be Windows. Next thing you need to decide is, are you gonna use GUI or CLI? We'll use GUI here just to keep it very simple. So we're gonna use Hunix with a graphical user interface. This is very beginner friendly and easy to use. And that again is one of the big advantages of Hunix, rather than having to boot off a USB flash drive every time you wanna use Tails as an example. Here you can simply start up your virtual machines that are running on your computer. So 
You can do your normal Windows stuff as an example on your Windows computer and then simply start up Hunix if you want to have privacy and be anonymous online. First step is to download Hunix. So we're going to click on this button. You have to wait a few seconds and we're told that if you want to contribute to the project, donations are welcome. I'm going to click download. And as you can see there, Hunix is now downloading. It's about 2.2 gig in size. Next thing we want to do is install VirtualBox. So you could do it through here by clicking on this link. But what I'm going to do is simply go to virtualbox.org. On their website, I'm going to go to download and select VirtualBox for Windows and click on that. And notice VirtualBox is downloading. It's about 106 meg in size. Okay, so VirtualBox has downloaded. So I'm going to double click on the executable, click yes to continue. Now this is a very basic installation. I'm going to click next. You need to accept the terms of the license agreement. So make sure you read through that and click accept and click next. I'm going to just stay with the defaults. So I'm going to click next. We told that it's going to restart your network connections. New network interfaces will be added. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click yes. We told that there's a missing dependency. I'm going to click yes to install it. Again, I'm just going to go with all the defaults you could change those if you wanted to, but I'm going to click next and click install. And as you can see, Oracle VirtualBox 7.1.4 is being installed. And as you can see there, the installation is completed. I'm going to click finish to start it up. And there you go. VirtualBox is now installed. Now, at the time of this recording, the version of VirtualBox is 7.1.4. When you watch this, it may be a later release. Simply download the latest release of VirtualBox. Now, my Hudix OVA is still downloading. So what I'll do is import one that I previously downloaded. In preparation for this video, I downloaded the OVA, 2.3 gig in size. That's the same version that's currently downloading. So I'm gonna simply import this file into VirtualBox. So you could right click and click open or go to VirtualBox and go file, import appliance, browse to where your file is. So my OVA and click open and click finish. Now you have to agree to the Hunix software license agreements and there are two of them. So I'm gonna click agree for the gateway and then I'm gonna click agree for the workstation. Make sure that you read those and that you are happy with the terms. And as you can see there, the appliances are being installed. So at the moment, I don't have any appliances installed, but notice there, we now have a gateway showing up as well as the workstation. So it was as simple as that to get Hunix installed in VirtualBox. So what I'll do is click on the gateway and click start to start it up. As you can see, it's powering up. And there you go, it's now booted. And we're told that the default username is user, no password required. It's a passwordless login. Click OK to run a system check. System check is now running. We're told that that'll take about three minutes. And there you go, system check is now run. We're told that Hunix is produced independently of with no guarantee from the Tor project. We're also told that the Hunix app repository is enabled. And then we're told that we should update our machine because it's not up to date. So I'm gonna click okay there. I'm gonna open up a terminal and I'm gonna type sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade. Those commands are available in the PDF, which I've shared below and a whole bunch of other information, which hopefully helps make this process smoother for you. So I'm gonna click enter. I'm gonna say yes to update my system. Upgrade has completed. So what I'll do is reboot the gateway. So simply restart it. And there you go. The gateway is back. So I'll make that a bit smaller. So gateway is ready now. So what I'll do is power up the workstation. So I'll select that and click start. Hunix workstation is now booting up. And once again, when it boots up, we told that the default username is user. There's no password, so I'm gonna click OK. A system check is now being done similar to the gateway. And we told once again that Hudix is produced independently of the Tor project. The Hunix app repository is enabled, but we need to update our packages. So I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna open up a terminal. We need to do something similar on the workstation. We're going to use the command sudo apt update as well as sudo apt full upgrade. And I'll press enter. I'm gonna press yes and press enter. Software is now being updated. Okay, so the software has been updated. I'm going to reboot the virtual machine or restart it. 
virtual machine is rebooting. And there you go. We have Hunix installed and updated. So again, we've got two virtual machines. We've got a gateway and we've got a workstation virtual machine. It's important that you start the gateway first, get that booted up and then start the workstation. So that's what we've done. There's the gateway, there's the workstation. I'll start a web browser. And once again, if I click on IP check, you can see that we've got a new IP address. My IP address now is 185.44.132. I'm connected to the Tor browser. This browser is configured to use Tor, so we can surf the internet anonymously and securely using this two VM setup. The advantage here, once again, versus Tails is I don't have to boot into a USB flash drive. I can simply start up these two virtual machines and I can surf the internet anonymously. This provides you with much better security and allows you to surf the internet anonymously when compared to just using your standard browser or even using a VPN or Tor on Windows as an example. I like to use Brave as an example. And in Brave, you can open up a private window using Tor and use Tor this way, but is more risky than compared to using Hunix on a dedicated virtual machine like this. Better privacy, better security. If software is downloaded to this virtual machine, you can simply destroy it and then start it up again versus if malware is installed on your Windows computer, you have a problem. Okay, so very short video. Hopefully this has helped you get Hunix up and running. Hopefully you've learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, and I want to wish you all the very best.